the experiment of liquid lens can be divided into two parts. In liquid lens 1, we will be evaluating the refractive index of an unknown liquid. We can extend this to finding out the refractive index of the material of the lens also. Here, to find the radius of curvature of the lens, we will be adopting the Boyce method using mercury. Aim of this liquid lens experiment is to determine the refractive index of the given liquid. Here, we are making use of the theory that when an object is placed at the focal point of a convex lens, then it produces parallel beams when it emerges out. Or in other words, when parallel beam of light falls on a convex lens, it will focus onto a point called focus of the convex lens. So, this distance will be called as the focal length of the convex lens. Here, the lens is placed on a mirror. So, when an object is placed here, it forms a parallel beam after refraction and this parallel beam is reflected back from the mirror and it converges back to the focal point of the convex lens. So when the object and its image is formed on the same plane, we can interpret this distance as equal to the focal length of this convex lens. Now if we introduce a layer of liquid between this lens and mirror, then this setup is called the liquid lens arrangement. Here, let us concentrate on the shape of this liquid lens formed. Here, it is a plane surface, while this is a concave surface as far as this liquid layer is concerned. So, it is a plano concave lens of liquid. There are two lenses here now. The one is the convex glass lens and the second is the plano concave liquid lens. So, considering these as two lenses, we can use the law of combination of lenses which states that the effective focal length of these two com combined lenses, if we denote it as capital F, 1 by F is equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. Here, F1 we have taken as the focal length of this convex lens and F2 the focal length of the second lens that is the liquid lens. So on rearranging we can find that focal length of the liquid lens F2 is equal to FF1 by F1 minus F. So this is the idea behind finding out the focal length of a liquid lens. As the aim of this experiment is to find out the refractive index of liquid, we can make use of the lens maker's formula, which says 1 by F is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Here, R1 and R2 are the radius of curvature of the two surface of the lens. As far as this liquid lens is concerned, we, it's a plano concave lens, so we can take R1 as infinity and R2 as minus R in the case of this liquid lens. So on applying this concept of R1 equals infinity and R2 equals minus R, as far as the liquid lens is concerned, we can rearrange this equation to get refractive index of the liquid is equal to 1 plus R by F2, where F2 stands for the focal length of the liquid lens. We have already found out this FL or F2 by the combination of lenses principle. Now our aim would be to find out what is the radius of curvature of this liquid lens. One thing to be noted here is the radius of curvature of this lens as well as the radius of curvature of this liquid lens will be the same because they are in contact with each other. They only differ in a sign. There are two methods to find out the radius of curvature R of the liquid lens. 
here we are making use of the boys method or mercury method when an object is placed here then the ray of light coming from the object gets refracted at this first surface and then falls on the second surface the second surface of the lens is acting as a mirror because it is coated with a layer of mercury here as it is floating on mercury so it gets turned back and forms an image over here this image will be formed in the same plane as that of the object only if the rays falling on the second face is normal to the second face so that it will retrace the same path and then converge to the focal point where the ob object and the image will be formed on the same line under this condition we can use the thin lens formula for this liquid lens so 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u we can interpret this distance as d then the object distance may be interpreted as minus d the image distance is interpreted as minus r as the normal beam from the second surface has to be interpreted to be virtually coming from the radius of curvature r applying these values over to this equation we can rearrange to get the value for capital r that is radius of curvature is equal to fd by f minus d here d is called the boys distance now that we have found out the r and also the focal length of the liquid lens using this relation we can find out the refractive index of the liquid the final results that can be tabulated are focal length of the liquid lens and refractive index of the given liquid the experimental setup consists of a convex lens then a mirror and an object here i am using this needle as my object i place the lens over this mirror and try to focus this object initially for convenience you can bring down this object down to this level so that you can comfortably see the object and its image this is the object and this is the image the object and image are with the same direction in the figure i can show it like this if ob is the object then im is the image they are in the same direction now i will slowly raise the object and observe the image the image is getting thicker and thicker and it gets out of focus it has disappeared almost and now it will return back now it has returned back with an inverted image so if the object is like this you can see the image is inverted that is i can keep the tip of the object and image in a same straight line ob is the object now my image is i am in this manner so i can keep the tip of both the object and the image tip to tip and follow it as a same straight line the qualities of the expected image are that it should be inverted it should be of same size and there should not be any parallax error by parallax error what i mean is if we move our head and observe this image object system we have to look for the speed of movement of the object and the image the object and the image should appear to move in the same speed when it is focused under this condition where object and image is straight let us see what is the appearance now you can see the object is moving faster than the image then i can interpret that in order to focus we have to bring down the object a little after lowering a little down i keep the tip of the image at the tip of the object by moving the mirror mirror lens setup now we will check for parallax error that is move your eyes or move your head and see if they are moving at the same pace now you can see 
the image is moving at a faster pace. Now I will have to raise the object because the image was moving at a faster pace. So I will increase the height of the object slightly and then try for the parallax situation. I have adjusted the height again and will keep the tip of the image at the tip of the object. Now I will try for the parallax error. I will move my eyes and see if they are moving at the same pace. Yes, you can see the object and the image appears as a straight line and it is moving together. Now the object and image are in a focused position. Now, under this condition, we can take the measurement from the top of the lens and using the scale, we can measure the height. It is 20 centimeter. Now I will remove this lens and do the measurement from top of the mirror and it is now 20.4 centimeters. We can enter the readings over here. Distance of the pointer from the top of the lens 20 centimeter. Distance of the pointer from the plane of the mirror 20.4. You can take the average here and that will be equal to the focal length of the convex lens. So focal length of the convex lens F1 we can evaluate as the average of the these two readings. We can repeat this experiment twice or thrice to get a more accurate final answer. Now for the second part of the experiment, I will remove this lens and introduce few drops of liquid over here and place the lens over that. So now a liquid lens arrangement is formed where the shape of the liquid lens is plano concave as explained in the theory. Hope you can see the liquid layer below the lens. Now again we will have to adjust the object and should get an image parallel to it. So if you have got any problem in focusing better start from the down position, bottom position then raise the object. You can see that the image gets fatter out of focus and it almost disappears. I still keep on raising it. Now the image has returned back but in an inverted manner. So at the position where the object and the image seems to be of the same size, I will stop it and then fix it. Then I will check for the parallax error. I will move the mirror, keep the image at the tip of the object itself, then move my head forward and backward and see if the object and the image are moving together. If it is not moving, then adjust the height of the object so that it is finally focused without parallax error. Now we will take the measurement from the top of the lens till this pointer and then remove the lens and take the measurement from top of the mirror till the pointer. We can enter the values of the combination focal length distance of the pointer from the top of the lens, distance of the pointer from the plane of the mirror and take the average value. That average combined focal length capital FL is 1 by Fn plus 1 by F2 where F1 is the focal length of the convex lens which we have already found out and on rearranging F2 the focal length of the liquid is equal to F F1 by Fn minus F. By this method we can evaluate what is the focal length of the liquid lens. Now as a third part, we will remove this mirror setup and introduce a bowl of mercury. I will take this lens and put it in this mercury. Now this mercury lens is my setup and upon this I will again focus this object. I will start from the bottom, raise it. I can see the image, see if there is any parallax error, adjust in a way that there is no parallax error. Now the height is okay, there is no parallax error, I will fix it and I will take the reading from top of the lens as well as after removing the lens, I will take the reading from the top of the mercury level. Now these measurements can be entered into this tabular column to find the radius r, distance of the pointer from the surface of the lens, 
distance of the pointer from the surface of the mercury and its average. You can repeat this twice or thrice to get the exact d value. Now as explained in the theory, with this d value we can find out r as f d by f minus d. Now that we have found out radius of curvature r and focal length of the liquid lens, we can evaluate refractive index of the liquid lens mu l is equal to 1 plus r by f2. So the result can be tabulated, focal length of the liquid lens, refractive index of the liquid. Now as an extension to this experiment, it is possible to find out the refractive index of the material of the lens. According to lens maker's formula, 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. Here r1 and r2 are the radius of curvature of the two sides of the lens. On rearranging this equation, we can get mu is equal to 1 plus r1 r2 by f1 into r1 plus r2. The radius of curvature r1 and r2 can be found out by the Boyce method applied to the both the surface of the lens. Here f1 is the focal length of the convex lens which we have found out in the first stage. So it is also possible to evaluate this equation and find out the refractive index of the material of the lens.